Welcome to MagiTools. Here's how to sharpen elements in Canva. Let's dive right into it. First of all, I'm heading over here to Photos and I'm going to choose a random photo here from the Photos library and just drag and drop that inside of our project. Now I will simply right click that and set the image as background. To sharpen this picture, all you need to do is to click on it and then choose adjust here from the top bar. And then you might be surprised that there's apparently no sharpness filter here under adjustment. However, the thing is that the sharpen feature is actually the opposite of the blur feature. And that means to sharpen your picture, you would just simply have to move the blur fade to the left and that would indeed sharpen your picture. Agreed, this might be a little bit confusing because in other programs you often find faders that are called sharpness or sharpener or something like that. But rest assured, all you need to do in Canva to sharpen your picture is to use this blur fader here and just move it to the left rather than the right. If I move that here to the right, you will see that our picture will indeed be blurred instead. Now to wrap things up, I would like to show you one cool thing you can do with the sharpener here. Let's suppose you have both a background and a foreground, then what usually works best is that you will blur the background a little bit and then sharpen the foreground a little bit, which will make it stick out even more. Now, as we don't have a foreground yet here in our project, I'm just going to head over here to photos and I'm going to uh, insert here woman and I will just choose that lovely woman here and drag and drop it into our project. Now like this that obviously doesn't look very great so what, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going into effects here and we will use this super cool feature called background remover. To make use of that feature simply click on it and you will see that Canva is working its magic and after waiting for maybe 5 to 10 seconds depending on the speed of your internet connection Canva will just magically remove the background of that picture. That said, we now have a lovely foreground. I will just reposition that a little bit. Now it's perfectly centered. And as I mentioned before, to make that look even a little bit better, what we would do is we would go to adjust here and then I'm just going to sharpen that foreground a little bit. And this will give it a really nice effect and will make sure that our foreground sticks out even a little bit more. I often use this technique for creating YouTube thumbnails. If creating YouTube thumbnails is something you are interested in, I also have a full tutorial on that. You will find the link to that tutorial in the description of this video. That's it guys, all you need to know about how to sharpen photos and pictures in Canva. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day, guys. Bye.